Hi guys, so welcome to another beer review. Today we're concluding my little look at the Rainbow Project 2016 um, box, which of course hosted by Siren, and this is their collaboration with the Garage Project, and they have the colour Indigo. And basically what we have here, it's called the Blacklight Banana, and I'll quickly read you what it says on the description. I mean, it's got the information on the side, and Siren do actually have the full story on their website, so, you know, you can look it up as well. So, Blacklight Banana, coming in at 9.2%, and it's described as an imperial stout with bananas, molasses, and bourbon barrel-aged coffee. For this year's Rainbow Project collaboration with Garage Project, we drew the colour indigo. After much research on both sides of the idea that excited us almost was that of the black light banana. Ripe bananas uniquely go glow bright indigo under UV lights, with researchers putting it down to the unique way that bananas break down chlorophyll as they ripen. But why? One possible theory is that it makes the banana visible as a food source to animals that see in the UV range, like bats. Included 200 kilograms of molasses, the viscous byproduct of refining sugar cane or sugar beets into sugar. Next up, bananas. We brought in some 100 kilograms of fresh bananas, then blowtorch them by hand to produce a well-rounded, caramelised banana flavour in the beer, which we think tastes true to the fruit. In early tests, we'd used a traditional German wheat yeast strain, which gave us sweet candy-like banana flavour, so we ended up blending it with our House Vermont strain to tone that effect down. These are helped with along with 100 kilograms of fresh banana puree. As a final touch, we, we included some bourbon barrel-aged coffee, which we've had in barrels since last year. We couldn't be happy with the results. Read the full story behind the beer on our website, sirencraftbrew.com. So, as is the case, links down to Siren and, of course, Garage Project down below, so you can look up for them yourselves. Beautiful artwork. Lighting is not working with me today, so it looks quite a lot darker than it should do. But I hope you pick that up and at least hope you get a good look when I do the thumbnail. There is the Siren Crown. And uh, yeah, for inch and thermal bottle, clocked in at 9.2%. And um, yeah, sounds absolutely fantastic. So let's get the beer opened, poured and see what we get. So yeah, this Siren project has been fantastic. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Um, had some very exciting beers, uh, some very craft um, ideas. Uh, in terms of colour, not really getting too much because of this lighting, but it looks like a dark reddish brown. You definitely get some ruby hues coming in. It isn't really clear, but I'm guessing this hasn't been uh, filtered or pasteurised to get all those really nice flavours still in there. I've just produced about one finger's worth of like a mocha coloured head. Looks really damn nice. It looks so much darker and opaque on camera. Uh, so yeah, let's see what it smells like. Well, I definitely get a hint of that bourbon aged coffee. Coffee comes in really nicely again. You know, you do get that initial like woody, bourbony sort of aroma, which complements the coffee, but then the coffee just kicks it up a little bit. Definitely pick up like that sweet molasses, very syrupy quite cakey, desserty, a little bit boozy as well as you would expect for a 9.2% Imperial Stout. And you do get that slight banana aroma in the background, but I'm guessing that's going to come more in the actual mouthfeel and the flavour. Nutty, oaty, it's got like this rustic sort of aroma to it, a little bit bready, get a bit of smoke in there as well. It's just this amalgamation of all these really nice, intense, robust aromas, complemented beautifully. It smells absolutely wonderful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, wow. That mouthfeel. That is so nice, smooth and velvety. It's got a bit of heft to it, but it's not too heavy. And it just swirls around nicely. Got a really nice gentle carbonation in there that dispenses that beautiful mouthfeel around the palate. You get nice, almost slightly prickly carbonation as it goes in. But that mellows out and, like I said, swishes that beer just wonderfully around your mouth. I could definitely, again, pick up that coffee and that bourbon. Such a wonderful idea to 
barrel aged coffee and then put it into a beer. That's just, it's worked so well in this one. And you get that nice roastiness, that slight almost German Rauch beer quality to it, where it's not really like a meaty smokiness. It's more like a sweet, uh, slightly spice or pe spicy peatiness. And yeah, you definitely get that banana puree sort of thing as it's working with that liquid, broke down a little bit. So it's still got a nice amount of volume to it, but it's not heavy. It's not like creamy or gloopy or anything like that, but it's not thin by any stretch. I'd say it's on the, the higher end of medium. You definitely get that consistency from the banana in there. And you do get a nice, slightly caramelised banana flavour as well, as if you'd you know, fried up some slices in some sugar on a pan, that sort of thing. That molasses comes in really nicely. Not too sweet, not too overpowering. It just complements the caramelised banana and those smoky, rustic tones really, really nicely. Don't really get too much alcohol on the flavour, but you do get it um, more as it goes down your throat. And it works nicely. It's got this really lovely warming sensation. It's not a harsh alcohol character by any stretch. It just complements and rounds off what is a really nice, robust, flavoursome, hearty beer. Really, really damn nice. I just love how desserty, cakey, burnt sugar, caramel, roasted nuts, that banana, the slight fruitiness, that rustic sort of like smoky coffee aspect. Um, I know the banana is you know the star of the show, but I'm so so happy with that coffee aspect, and I'm not sure if they did that for other brews to experiment with. But it's worked so wonderfully in this beer, and for a 9.2% Imperial Stout, really quite drinkable. But it's as you're drinking it, you feel it a little bit more. So you could probably have one or two of these in an evening. Perfect nightcap beer, perfect beer to end a session on. And uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely ended on a high note. Uh, I, I can't, I can't criticise this beer at all. Um, it's a wonderful beer. There's no notes that are offensive to my palate. There are probably a lot of things that I'm not picking up with my palate, but what is there is absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, both breweries should be very proud with this beer because it's really, really gorgeous. Definitely a 10 out of 10 beer for me. And uh, yeah, I know that Siren get um, a good reputation um, and it's well deserved because they do cracking beers like this and they bring breweries together So that's what it's all about at the end of the day And uh, yeah, if you see a bottle of this, do yourselves a favour Pick it up, it's a wonderful beer If you love your impy stouts, you're going to love this one um, I'm still going to say my favourite beer from this box has been the Beaver Town Adam beer Because that was just wonderful, deserty really nice and sweet but not too sweet but this is a very close second and uh, yeah one of the best imperial stouts that I've tried in quite a while to be honest and uh, yeah highly highly recommended from me it's just a shame I can't really get good lighting on that beautiful artwork so uh, yeah if you've tried this one let me know your thoughts opinions if you've tried all of the <laughs> excuse me um, rainbow project beers let me know which one you've enjoyed the most um, and if you've not tried all of them and you have tried a couple, you know, let me know which ones have been your favourite. Give me some suggestions in terms of both Siren and the Garage Project because that's the great thing about this box. It's got me super excited about these breweries and uh, yeah, I will definitely be doing my best to try more beers from everyone involved in this project in the future. Every beer has been fantastic. Some have been better than others. That's always going to be the case. You're not going to love every single beer. And um, yeah, and it was good for me to try some more sour beers as well, which was, you know, some people might say that there were too many in the box. But um, yeah, I just think it's a wonderful idea. And uh, yeah, money well spent. And I'm very, very happy indeed. So check out my Rainbow Project playlist down below for the previous reviews. Look out in the future for more Siren Craft Brews because some of the beers that they've been brewing recently have just sounded absolutely divine. 
and uh, yeah, check out all those links down below, links to where you can pick up bottles of this, uh, links to find out more about the Rainbow Project and especially the breweries involved because there have been some wonderful beers. Anyway, I've enjoyed doing these videos and I hope you've enjoyed watching them with me and until the next time, I hope you all stay safe and I shall see you all later. Cheers.